One million square meters, about 3,800 mines, two years of work, and four million dollars of requested funds. These are the numbers of a great project that will give new life to Jesus' baptism site. A holy place that has always been revered but that has long been abandoned. Even today, the remains of monasteries and churches are concrete testimony of the Christian presence, leaving the events that took place here to our imagination. The Jordan River is very significant for several churches like ours. In fact, the Christian message began here. Halo Trust, an organization devoted to demining lands around the world, engaged to work in this area with the approval of the Israeli and Palestinian authorities for anti-mine action, has for some time launched a fundraising campaign in order to proceed with the clearance of this place, a project with multiple challenges. There are four levels of um, um, challenges or obstacles that Halo Trust would deal with during this project. The first one is a mine belt, is, is anti-personal minefields which place at the entrance to the, to the site. The second one is anti-tank minefields that are stretched all over the site from north to south. The third one will be the booby traps which were laid inside the buildings and inside the church perimeters. And the fourth one will be the unexposed ordinance, which were left and are spread all over the area. This, uh, this place is a place with a very high potential, a place that can, um, uh, can make a lot of good for all kinds of stakeholders. If it's the churches, if it's the people that, who live next by, uh, all kinds of, um, um, kind of authorities that uh, are involved in the, in the development of the baptism site. إلى تنظيف هذه وتطهير هذه المنطقة من أجل ما نطمح إليه في المستقبل. This area needs to be cleaned up so that in the future it could become a more valuable touristic site and attract many more pilgrims and tourists. The Greek Orthodox, the Franciscan, the Armenian, the Russian, the Coptic, the Romanian, the Ethiopian and the Syrian Orthodox, these are the churches of Jerusalem that have been present in these places for centuries as witnesses of the conversion that Jesus proclaimed here. It's important uh, f you know, for many reasons. First of all, it's all mines. We need safety and security for all the pilgrims to visit the place. And number two, it's important because the consent of all the governments involved in the area also makes, makes it very important for this project uh, because it shows uh, that the peace is uh, real and they are committed to the peace. So to remove the mines, it's a sign of uh, keeping the peace, number three, because that's River Jordan. Father Pizabala, custodian emeritus of the Holy Land, stressed that supporting this unique project is fundamental because it is contributing to the construction of bridges in the Holy Land, a small gesture of hope for peace. Hope and pray that uh, this uh, uh, project would uh, make a contribution to to the reconciliation. I think it's a very good uh, sign of hope. I mean a sign that would uh, contribute to coexistence and at the end of the day, I mean, uh, to, 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 to peace.